If you have to choose between Super Mario 3 and Super Mario World, you really can't choose wrong. Both of these games are considered to be the best 2D platformers, not just in the Mario franchise, but for all video games. It's really difficult to choose which one is better, but let's go over some key differences. At first glance, I would argue that Super Mario World is the better of the two. When factoring in how easy it is to pick up and play, Super Mario World is a crowd pleaser. Since it is the sequel to Super Mario 3, I think that the game developers factored in the age gap in the Mario franchise. Although adults, including myself, are obsessed with Mario, little kids are also huge fans of the Italian plumber. This means that the generation gap needed to coincide with the difficulty gap. The overall platforming experience of Super Mario World is definitely easier than Super Mario 3. There is more room to land when jumping through obstacles, and since the controls are much more loose, it's easier to control yourself just in case you misjudge the jump. All of the secrets in Super Mario World give more appeal to older gamers, but they're not necessary, so younger gamers can still progress. If you like really challenging platformers, Super Mario World is not that challenging. Up until you at least hit the Special World, or the Star World. Now on to Super Mario 3. Super Mario 3 is a big boy game. Seriously, do not judge this game by its cover art. Mario is not happy whatsoever. Just look at his sprite. Mario is petrified of this world because literally every step you take there is something trying to kill you. If this game was released today, I would be willing to bet that people would compare it to Dark Souls because of its brutal difficulty. After World 1, the game picks up tremendously on the difficulty curve, and if you're even able to reach World 8, you'll be frustrated beyond belief with some of these insane levels. The main two differences I like to point out between Super Mario 3 and Super Mario World are level design and controls. Super Mario 3's controls are much tighter, and you need to be more focused and precise in order to survive. In Super Mario World, there is more open space to run around, and the looser controls enable a more carefree level of exploration. Super Mario World definitely ages better in this modern gaming world we live in, because the controls are easier, there are more save points, and the 16-bit graphics just look better. It is a happier experience with its bright colors, upbeat music, and of course... Yahoo! With that being said, the feeling that I get after beating a disgustingly hard level of Super Mario 3 is incomparable. You really have a sense of accomplishment as you progress through Super Mario 3, and for that reason, it has the edge in my book. If you've never played a Super Mario game before, go for Super Mario World. It's a great introduction on the classic Nintendo mechanics. If you like to call Mario a baby game, then try out Super Mario 3. Seriously, try it out and we'll see who's the real baby.